Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool for here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Universal Bren Carrier Mark II. The Universal Carrier, also known as the Bren Gun Carrier and sometimes simply the Bren Carrier from the Light Machine Gun Armament, is a common name describing a family of light armored tracked vehicles built by Vickers, Armstrongs, and other companies. The first carriers, the Bren Carrier and the Scout Carrier, with Specific roles entered service before the war, but a single improved design that could replace these universal was introduced in 1940. The vehicle was used widely by the British Commonwealth forces during the Second World War. Universal carriers were used, usually used for transporting personnel, equipment, mostly support weapons, or as machine gun platforms. So yeah, the brain carrier here is a very interesting little uh, piece of machinery, again fielded by uh, the United Kingdom, uh, but it was also used by... Uh, France as well, and then obviously the British Commonwealth, so um, countries like Australia and um, Canada and stuff like that, countries that were in the um, Commonwealth were uh, wide users of these as well, as you would imagine British equipment going to their um, basically colonies or, um, you know, nations under their uh, influence. So a really interesting little build and should be a cool one to add to any of your World War II scenarios if you're looking for a kind of British light um, armored vehicle. This here is pretty much as light as it gets and was a very widely used vehicle during that time. So um, with that though, let's go ahead and dive in here, take a look at the build before we go ahead and get started with it. So starting off with, we have the um, vehicle itself. Uh, it is It does have a machine gun mounted here in the front. So you would have a driver and a passenger, uh, the passenger operating the machine gun. They would sit basically right next to each other tandem. And um, that is where the operators would operate the vehicle from. Uh, you have just some simple details, some radio antennas, a um, little spotlight there on the side and all that stuff. So real simple uh, little details. On the back here is where crew could actually be or it could be transporter people. Uh, I believe in total four could be transported. This one here does have a mounted uh, Bren machine gun also on it, so it has a little bit of extra firepower, but you could also just copy this right side over to the other side to kind of make this more of just a transport uh, version of the build. But it's a really interesting little build. Should make a cool addition to any of your World War II maps if you're looking for a British Commonwealth type vehicle. But without further ado, let's go ahead and move into our tutorial, beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, so moving into our first uh, layer here, we have layers 0 and 1. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a row of no brick blocks that are going to be in the ground. These here are going to be the start of our tracks. So we're going to go ahead and do a nice solid row of 7, like so. We're going to go ahead and go to each end of the row nether brick, and we're just going to place down a dark oak wood trap door like so. On both sides, we're going to place down a weathered waxed copper slab, top slab on both sides. And then coming off this, we're going to place down a grindstone. So the slab here is going to be the rear of the vehicle. We're going to place down a grindstone there, an item frame on the side of it. And then we want to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block in the item frame. And then if you're on Java, we can place a dark open sign on the side of this block as well. So you're going to go ahead and do something like it looks like that there. Next, we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate like this. And then we want to go ahead and then place down two more grindstones. And these are going to be coming off each other like so. And we're going to have item frames coming off those grindstones. And then we're going to have green stained glass paints in the item frames. And then lastly, right here, we're going to place down a dark prismarine top slab. And a dark oak wood sign coming off that top slab. And that is going to basically set up our tracks that we're going to have on the side or on the vehicle. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go and take our dark prismarine top slabs. And we're going to place down a row two over. We're going to go and then set up our tracks. And we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing that we did on the other side, just over here to this side. So I'm going to go ahead and do this a little bit quicker, as I've already explained the other side. And if you need to you get lost or whatever, you can go ahead and just feel free to uh, refer to the other side because it is the exact same thing that is going to be going on on both sides. So again, just feel free to uh, look at the other side. And then we have basically that set up there. Um, again, we have our item frames. Don't forget those. And... That right there is going to basically um, complete what we have for our track layout and also this dark oak wood sign there. Now after that's done, we're going to take our dark prismarine and we're going to go ahead and continue this back. We're going to place down our slabs, filling in the middle section here, all the way back to get in between these last grindstones right here. Then after that, we're just going to place down two zombie heads coming off those slabs like so, and that is going to set up everything we have for our first layer 
uh, or first layers, layer zero, one. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started with this, uh, we're going to place down a daylight detector on top of these two slabs here. And then going back from that, we're going to place down a dark Persian green slab over here on the right side of the build. We then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, and then a green terracotta block, and another mossy cobblestone wall to the side here like that. We're going to follow this up with a chain that's going to come off the front here of this green terracotta block, as well as a dark oak trap door coming off this wall like that for the front of the vehicle. Um, and actually, I'm going to change this trap door out, and I'm actually going to go ahead and place down a sign instead there, and I'm actually going to go ahead and place down an item frame. So, uh, an item frame. And then a little black band in the iron frame for a little slit there for the driver. So uh, just go make the quick change there. I think it's going to just kind of improve this look a little bit better here on the front. Um, anyways, though, after that is done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a prismarine stair over here on the left side of the vehicle. And then two polished blackstone slabs over, which would be the seats for the driver and um, gunner. And then we're going to place down a green shortcut box over here on the right side. Now, once that's done on the left side, or sorry, on the right side here, we're going to place down another sl uh, slab like so, then a dark oak trap door, and then another polished blackstone slab. On the side here of those three blocks, we're going to place down trap doors and just close them so they create a siding there on the vehicle. And then on the back here, we're just going to place down a green shulker box like so. Uh, in the middle here, we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks, followed by a second row of two, and then we're going to place down two end portal frames. And on the back here, these end portal frames are going to place down two dark oak trap doors, and then again close them uh, flat against the surface. Once we have that done, we're going to place down a spruce wood stair on top of that slab there, and we're going to go ahead and then wrap our spruce wood signs around these two sides like so. As I mentioned before in the beginning of the video, you can copy the same thing we did on the right side over here to this side if you don't want the gun. If you do want the gun, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a green shulker box, and then a dark oak, and then two dark oak trap doors. Back from that, and again, we're gonna place down our trap doors on the side of the shulker box and the three, uh, and then in the two trap doors. And also, there's gonna be a dark oak trap door come off the side of this, um, that um, stair up there in the front. And once you have that set up there, that is what you want to have from the top down view with this all complete. That's gonna conclude layer two, and we'll move on to our last final layers. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number uh, three, four and five for these layers to go ahead and get started with we're going to go ahead and place down a dark prismarine slab on top of this block here and then we want to place down a zombie head at a slight angle on top of this wall followed by a dark oak fence gate on top of this wall opened up toward that slab we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame coming off the fence gate and a snowball in the item frame like so we're also going to place down an iron bar on top of this uh stair right here and on top of that iron bar we're going to go ahead and place down a flower pot like so on the other side here, going up from this dark oak trap door, we're going to place down one, two, and three. Iron bars going up for a radio antenna. For our machine gun, if you do have it uh, on this build, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate here. And we're going to open this fence gate toward the back of the vehicle. For the machine gun itself, we're going to place down a polished black stone stair with a chain that's going to come off of it going forward. And then on the back here, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. If you're on Java, we're going to go ahead and place down a block that's going to come off to the side here. And on that block, we're going to place down a lever. We're going to go and then grab a debug stick, which can be obtained by typing the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So this command here, press enter, will give you this glowing stick. We're going to left click this uh, lever till we get selected uh, face. We're going to right click this and set this to ceiling. We're going to left click this again till we get selected facing and rotate this around so it points backwards like so. And that is going to create your uh, gun there like so. Uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of two of barrier or of uh, daylight detectors here, and then a barrier block on this side. If you do have the crew area on both sides of the vehicle, then you'll just place down a barrier block on both sides there. And then after we have that done, we're going to take our dark oak signs, and we're just going to place down a row coming off the fence gate, the two daylight detectors, and this barrier block or structure block, uh, whatever you have placed there. Now, once we have that done, we're going to go and then take our levers. We're going to place down two levers here on those two blocks, followed by a flower pot that's going to go on top of this green shulker box here. And lastly, we're going to go and take our iron bars. We're just going to place down a row of three that go up and from this uh, end portal frame like that. And once you have that all complete there, that's going to wrap up my design here for the universal 
uh, Bren Carrier uh, Mark II. If you guys do end up using this inside, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be linked from a sign of the build link to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, your freezer for projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Um, and yeah, with that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 4 and I will see you guys next time.